Hey, John Marion here with Alpha Dog Capital, and uh, we have just, uh, we're completing a project, uh, a small uh, residential land development project where we placed a new home on a 1.3 acre lot. And so I'm gonna show you uh, some of the steps and uh, share with you some of the information about this project. Uh, it's been a great project for our, our investors, and this will be going on the market to sell in about three weeks. Okay, so this is on a 1.3 acre lot in a rural part of North Georgia in the uh, town of uh, Jasper. And um, this double wide mobile home is just over 1,500 square feet. It has two sections. I'll be showing you some uh, photographs of the two sections and, and it's now been uh, put together, tied together, tied onto the found, placed on a foundation and tied and secured to the ground. And I'll show you, show you those straps in a few minutes of, of just how they do that. And so part of the, um, the way, the, the methodology of developing a, a uh, project like this involves a mobile home uh, becoming real estate. So a mobile home is considered per personal property when it's purchased and it's brought to the site, and then when it's tied down and put together as a double wide mobile home and secured properly to the foundation, uh, the title can be what we call retired, and the home can then become real estate. It ceases to become personal property. It becomes real estate and then is eligible to be purchased by a home buyer using a conventional home mortgage pro uh, product, including uh, FHA loans, VA loans and USDA loans. And uh, I'll talk more about that in another video sometime. Uh, but anyway, this is a great small um, private uh, investment project that I did with another investor and we're winding down on this project. But I wanna just show you a few things about, uh, about the project that I think you might find interesting. Okay, so this is the end of the mobile home and I'll be showing you some photographs um, that of the two different sections and before the, uh, the, the tongue of the mobile home where they uh, dragged it in here, not dragged it in here, wheeled it in here. Uh, it's on a trailer, it's on a chassis, and I'll show you those parts in just a minute. Uh, but these two sections of the home were originally uh, trailers and they were brought on site, set up on a foundation, and they were uh, tied together. Okay, so the, uh, the ends of the mobile home chassis were cut off and they're sitting under here. And uh, I'll show you some good, uh, better close-up photographs of that. And the home was placed onto these, um, these pillars of cinder box and blocks. And those underneath blocks, those, there were holes that were dug. And uh, you can take a look at those, that as well. I'll show a series of photographs. Uh, holes were dug, cement was poured down into the ground up to uh, ground level basically. And then these, all these pillars uh, were built to place a home on a level permanent foundation. And what's, what makes this a permanent foundation, there's some tie downs here. So let's, let's go down here. I see some right over here. There's several of these tie downs underneath the home. And you can see this one uh, is uh, attached to the chassis, bolted to the chassis, and then embedded into the concrete. And so you can see that one here. There's another one, it's kind of dark, that goes that way. And uh, I'll get, see if I can get a bang, better angle of that where you can uh, see what I'm talking about here. So you can see how that's tied down. This, this house is now secured to the ground on a permanent foundation and is considered real estate. We have to go to the government, um, the right department in the county to officially retire the title of this mobile home. And um, so if you're interested in, in uh, residential development and, um, and home renovation projects and putting your money into projects like this, uh, let me know. I can explain more to you about how these projects work and how our, um, our company can help you to, uh, to participate in uh, these projects, projects like this. Now, this is a mobile home project. Uh, we do a lot of projects that are not mobile homes. This is 
uh, something that we do periodically. Uh, most of what we do is uh, purchase homes, we renovate them, and then we resell them. Uh, just traditional stick-built homes that you'll, you'll see in a neighborhood. Uh, that's, that's the bread and butter of what our uh, company specializes in. But we love these small development projects as well. Uh, mobile homes are great and uh, mobile home communities are good as well as uh, mobile home parks. But we, we haven't really uh, done mobile home parks in terms of owning a park as rental property. We, we more specialize in, um, in properties where we can add a lot of value for a quick resale to give our investors profits uh, quickly. So um, anyway, if you have any questions about that and how to participate, just contact me. I'll be glad to explain more about that. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a little bit tour of the home and you can see the inside of this house Okay, so obviously here I am inside the mobile home and uh, there's no electricity, no utilities have been hooked up yet. So we're waiting for the, um, uh, the plumber and the electrician uh, later this week to come and hook this up. We have an, an HVAC unit that will need to be hooked up as well. But as you can see, um, if you've never been inside a, a new modern mobile home, uh, this is what it looks like, and it's a great, this is a, a, a basic entry level model. Uh, they, they come much nicer than these, but this is a very uh, good basic entry level uh, model, which is great for first time home buyers. And I am standing right now, that, that ceiling, that, that trim work on the ceiling is, are the two pieces of the home. So uh, here is a living room. And this section, along with the, the bedroom behind me right there, uh, was one section of the trailer, uh, or one trailer, and then this section is another trailer. And as you can see, when it's tied together, it's, uh, it's you know, it's a nice size home. Uh, this is 1,500 square feet, uh, or just over 1,600 square feet. And it has a nice open, uh, somewhat open kitchen and living room area. And then there are three bedrooms. I'll just show you real quick what these bedrooms look like. They're, um, they're a decent size. And uh, we have carpet in the bedrooms. And there's a hall bath over here. And I'm not even gonna try to show you that. It's just too, uh, too dark for that. But I do wanna show you the master bedroom and the size. And I think there's more light in the master bathroom than there are the other bathrooms. So, you can see this is a, uh, a decent size um, bedroom and it's a master bedroom suite. And yeah, I'll, I'll do another video when, uh, when there's light, but uh, there's a, a shower, uh, garden tub combination, of course a toilet, uh, a single vanity, and a, uh, a large closet that's even darker. I'm not even gonna try to go in there and get some video because that would be frustrating to even just try to show that. But uh, anyway, um, give me a call if you are interested in learning more how to participate in the, um, in, uh, the real estate industry in the Atlanta area. Uh, our uh, company, Alpha Dog Capital, specializes in residential real estate in North Georgia and uh, especially in the North Metro Atlanta area. And if I were to explain to you what the profitability, the ROI, the return on investment is on this project, you would not believe me. You think, oh, uh, you know, you, you would think I'm a scam artist or something like that. But it, it's just incredible the, uh, the return on uh, our investment that we get on projects like this. And if you're at all interested in learning more how you can participate and want to know more about the specific numbers, uh, just contact me. I'll be glad to talk to you about, about this project and the other projects that we work on. So somebody asked me about the appliances that come with the home. So this is fully equipped with appliances. I don't know if the dishwasher is still tied down. Yeah, it is still tied down. Uh, we have uh, the oven there. Yeah, I can see there's a, still a strap on here. So these appliances, this home is delivered with the appliances already installed and they're tied down, including the refrigerator. You can see they're tied down here. So, and it's, it's kind of leaning, it's on wood on the bottom. Uh, so these are delivered, uh, this home is delivered fully uh, completed. 
and just uh, things need to be hooked up and untied and just the final installation, but basically everything's in here, including the furnace. There's a hot water heater in there as well. Again, it's uh, no electricity, so it's hard to see everything. But this home is absolutely 100%. So the um, home comes delivered, and once it's just set up uh, with, the, with the both sections attached and everything finally installed and the straps taken off uh, because of transportation, um, this is a 100% habitable home. There's not anything else that really needs to be done to this home other than hooking up the utilities and doing some site work on site, uh, putting in a driveway, uh, those sorts of things. And we're going to build the front deck and a back deck, front porch, a small front porch and a back deck. Uh, so, and, and you, you have freedom to do whatever you want. There's a minimum that should be there because of the building codes as far as a, a front porch and a back deck, the size of them. But uh, we're gonna build a bigger back deck and depending on uh, how a home is situated, you can improve the property quite a bit more other than the home itself by, by building a, a big deck and doing some other things on the grounds and, uh, and things such as that nature. So anyway, just wanted to let you know about these appliances uh, and the fact that this, this home comes fully equipped and ready to move in once the setup is completed.